Hey, happy Saturday. It's Lee here. And Jeremy. And we're Massey Art Studio, welcoming you back for another episode. This is number 21. Can you believe it? Or should I do 21 That's this way? That's the right way. Right. It might have been the other way around. Uh, 21. <laughs> Either way, you got it the both right, ways. Yes. Um, this is going to be another fun episode. You've just seen us do the Who Did It Better in mm -hmm. the last episode. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for all your likes oh and all the subscribes. Yeah. Um, I think this one is a clear winner, um, but we'll see. We're still counting votes. They have not been verified by an official adjudication yes. scheme just yet, but they will be shortly. Mm -hmm. um, this one's going to be fun too. Um, a slight so. departure from a normal pouring technique. Um, I'm going to use an egg carton cup yes. um, and do a wandering ring pour using an egg carton. Yes. And you're going to do... I'm doing, it's kind of a cup pour that has a little... Give me one second, I got to jump off the camera. And I want to show you, I want to show you, so I got to come back. Okay, so this is, a, it's a, a cup, it's open, right? But what I did was I glued a lid to the bottom, mm -hmm. glue, and I drilled holes. I don't know if you can see them or not. Okay, but I drilled holes in the bottom. to leak through. It is, so it's going to be a leaky cup pour. Oh my goodness. I got that right. You really did. <laughs> So, this, yes. I'm not going to say this was the third time we've tried this, <laughs> but maybe it was. Look, I know my place, okay? And, what is, and place. what is your place? I am a show pony, not a workhorse. Ah, so okay? that makes me the workhorse. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, and you're a show pony too, baby. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you. Um, so yes, a leaky open, no, a leaky cup is leaky what you're going to do. Pour. Letting yes. the paint drip through the holes yes. on a canvas. Mm -hmm. Interesting to try this. Neither of us has tried this off camera. Nope. So you're going to be the first one seeing it. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to see how this goes. Yes. Uh, trial by fire. Trial by fire. <laughs> Throwing it in at the deep end. Um, thank you to everyone that's asked for one of the metallic Massey Art Studio pins. We still have some left. So um, please don't forget to follow the instructions you've seen in videos previous. Yes. Um, you've got to subscribe, got to like, got to comment, and then send us an email to MasseyArtStudios at gmail.com. Yeah. And if you're already a subscriber, you can still get your hands on a pin. Just share our videos to your social media like and comment and then send that same email to us and in the email simply say I want a pin in the subject heading and give us your address. Exactly. And then a pin and will be winging its way through I know. the post to We've you. already sent some to France, uh -huh. Australia, Canada, Canada, uh, Sweden, Sweden, England, England, clearly, thank you. Um, I think that's that's it right now for the, yeah. I think that's it for Norway, the we Norway, had, that's yeah. it. Gosh. I knew there was one more. So they've been like yeah. flying all the way to Europe. Yeah. And all over the crazy, states. Which is so crazy. It's yeah. awesome. Every single state, I think, so far. And we've got another 20 or so to send out today. Yeah. And we kind of get the same amount every day. So thank you so much. Yes. We love that you love them as much as we do. Um, that's it. Like and subscribe, people. We're, we're going to keep making these videos because we're enjoying our journey. And we hope you're enjoying it with us too. Yes. Yeah? Should we get to it? Absolutely. Let's get painting. Let's do it. Okay. So it's Lee here with my egg carton wandering ring pour. Let's give this a go. Um, first off, let me introduce some of the colors to you. So what we try to do is we try to pick the same kind of shades of one or two colors and then throw in some of the colors that are gonna kind of mix the colors together. So what we have here is this wonderful Titan Green Pale from Goldens, which we've not used before. We've got this awesome turquoise blue by Liquitex Basics, which we've used and we really love. And then we've got the pearl sea green by Arteza. So it's a nice pearly color. So we've gone for like shades of blues and greens in our base colors. And then we've got pearl space gray by Arteza. We could not not use our DecoArt Metallics 24 karat gold. And then we've got a interesting pouring masters luster pearl metallic white so three metallics to mix so let me explain what i'm going to try and do if these are my colors at the front 
then these are gonna be the colors at the back. And I'm gonna kind of layer my pots in a way so that when I pour them, the back colors mingle with the front colors and that's how I'm gonna get my wandering rings. So I do have to think just a little bit about which color is gonna be the best color to mix with the other. And I've already done that off camera. So I have a plan already. We will see how this works out. The first thing I'm going to do is actually flood my canvas with white paint. So I'm gonna do that for you right now. Flooded my canvas, as you can see. It's a little bit of a dirty flood, but I am going to tilt. So I'm not particularly worried about every single part of the canvas to be covered. It's just allow, allowing me to move the paint as I do my wandering ring. Next, let's layer up this little cup. So as I said, I did have a plan in mind. Um, first, I'm gonna go in with the pearl in egg cup number one, and then in also in number four. Next, in with the gold in number two, and in number five. These are gonna be the colors that are gonna mix with the colors in the front. Next in with the space gray, number three, and in number six. All right, so now with our lovely green, and then this one too. Next in with our Titan Pale, lovely golden color. And then this one also. I mean, this is just like singing to my order and ADD and, and then I'm going to go in with the darkest, which is the turquoise in with that dark space gray. And I really debated this because I could have swapped these two colors around and next to each other and put the lighter Titan with the space gray, but I'm gonna try it with the darker of the two colors and see what happens first. So that is my layered cup. We're gonna pour it this way. And now we're gonna try and do this a wandering style. So here is our lovely loaded egg cup. Now let's see how this goes. Mix those two colors in. There's our wandering rings. Now, I am going to pour two more on each side. So, let's put some of the white and some of the gold in with some of the pale. some of the green. And I'm gonna come and do two here. Okay, and then my final two is with the darker 
and the space gray. And my gold. And my light. So we've got an interesting pattern to start off with. Let's uh, stretch this out and we will see what it reveals. Okay. So first off, I'm going to, I'm going to stretch off and take the paint down to the end. Let's try and anchor as much of the colors as we can down on the bottom. We've got a nice thick, base layer here. I'm going to take this fairly slowly. I don't want the colors to kind of roll over each other. I do want them just to stretch because then if I can anchor at the very bottom, I'm going to be able to bring it all the way back and go from left to right. So that is my plan. I'm so glad that I put, currently, I'm so glad that I put that really dark turquoise color with the space gray, because they can kind of stand up next to each other. I don't necessarily want to have these as vertical lines all the way down the canvas, because I am going to go left to right. I do want to make sure I'm anchoring every single one of these little rings. Okay, so we've anchored. Now let's start playing with the composition. I'm going to go straight down the middle, see what happens. Anchor that gold over the edge of the canvas. We end up losing a whole stripe, that's totally fine too. Okay, next I want a torch because I know that there's some really interesting cells that are going to start appearing underneath the um, the lovely Arteza color that we have, which is the, which is the Arteza color? The pearl sea green? Yeah, the pearl sea green and the pearl white. So we've definitely got some like really interesting cells coming up. So let's give this a torch. And as this sits and develops, I think that there's going to be more colors coming up from underneath as the two colors have mixed. So here, you know, the, the turquoise deep is mixed with the gold and, and some of the other colors too. Um, I intentionally wanted to kind of do something super regimented. Um, and it was my idea to kind of try and keep some of the plumes. And I managed to keep every single one of them, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I did. Yeah, um, which I'm really happy about because I love order, even in paint. Um, I am going to stretch off just a little bit more towards the back just to see if there's anything, if there's any more paint on here that needs to come off. Okay, that's it. I am finishing fussing with this one. I 
I've got some really interesting layers coming up within the rings. The colors have mixed up really, um, you know, the layers of the, and the sides have, have mixed up really interestingly. And that is me done. I'm gonna tidy up my edges real quick. Um, and let's take you in for a close-up because I think close-up, it, it will look like a completely different piece. All right guys, this is Jeremy, and I'm going to be doing this leaky cup pour right here where I'm gonna pour my paint in and it's gonna leak out at the bottom, and we are going to see exactly what happens. It's an experiment today. It is an experiment today. Right. And I'm also going to be using the same colors as, as Lee. Um, and uh, so, let's see here. I just have to put them in the order that I want them to go, so. I think I'm going to, because I still have to start out with the white, so I think I'm going to do this color next, this color, this color, this color, this color, this color, and then the gold. So let's see here. Switch these two colors around, actually. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm still deciding in my head what, what colors I'm going to start out with. But I know I have to start out with the white here. So I'm going to go ahead and very carefully pour some of this white. Ooh, it's leaking. It is leaking. Whoops, jeez. There's definitely an art to this. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one. Could you hand me a piece of paper towel, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is already looking so interesting. This teal, right? Or no, turquoise this is deep. Turquoise deep. Or dark, whatever it is. The Liquitex Basics one. Yeah. Pretty. Of course. Some of the gold. And back to a little bit of tiny bit of white. to top it off with a little bit of white and then that little bit of green. 
And then I'm gonna call it quits. And then you're gonna, and I'm gonna tilt stretch it. it. Tilt it all over the place. I just love this green. Yeah, should I move these out of the way? You done? Um, you sure. Go one you know more? what? Just in case, give me the gold. Okay. Um, yeah. And Ooh. that should be it, it. Yes. Now I have to very carefully pick this up and swirl it a little bit. Oh, there we go. Got it. Now, what I wanted to do was is just take it and swirl it to the inside. And I want it to get muddy. Right. That's the only thing, so. And now I'm going to flood the edges so it doesn't. So it doesn't like just roll over itself. Okay, wipe that off, sure. hand that to you. All right, let's see what happens when I start tilting this. Okay. Why don't we go, tell you what, why don't we go this way with it first. Slow it down, slow it down. Back to center here. And maybe a little this way. Walk it down, walk it down. Come back to center. interesting. The colors were just so interesting also. It's a very interesting painting for very interesting people. I'm just going to take it off the side here a little bit. Definitely get it back to center a little bit. To come this way with it. Go ahead and take it off. way with it. Down a little bit. I'm trying to breathe. I'm trying to breathe. Okay. Now what we need to do is go this way with it. You got such an interesting flower in the middle. I know. It did, it opened up, it just kind of bloomed as I was stretching it. I hope you call this one Blooming Marvelous. <laughs> That's a good name for it. Okay, I just want to take it back, a little bit back to center here.
Guys, I think you're looking at the finished piece. I hope that you like it. I'm really loving it. I'm just crazy about the cells that are opening up, the, the center of the, it looks like a flower. It, it looks like a like golden a flower. flower. Um, I'm so excited about this, but I am, I'm loving this whole like pattern with its cells that make a flower. And it's like this little swirl in the center being the eye of the flower. And I mean, it's just all these like shimmers that are going on. I, I'm in love. I think that this is, this turned out really, really well. Um, I'm going to torch it to get these little bubbles out that I see here and there. And, um, and then we'll come in for a close up. Enjoying that pumpkin spice girl. <laughs> I am really enjoying this. You love Very fall much. for a Starbucks. Okay, that was it. Um, thank you for joining us for this episode, um, episode 21. Mm -hmm. This was an experimental day. Yes. I had an egg cup, you had a leaky cup. Yes. Uh, egg carton, sorry, you had a leaky cup. Would you do that again? Absolutely. I think, um, like I said, you know, I think that I would do the leaky cup, but this time I'd actually turn slowly it. turn it as the mm. as the paint is coming out of the bottom of it. So it's a and see how that goes. It's a leaky ring cup. It's a leaky ring. That's how it would be. Dirty cup slash <laughs> ninja sweat. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, it would be a, it would be a spinning leaky cup. Awesome. I would definitely use the egg carton again. However. I would probably only use one color at the back rather than the three that I used. Mm. And I would do a straight pour rather than the wandering ring. Mm. Just because when you've just got those two colors mixing, you don't I get know. enough of a contrast, you know? Yeah. So, um, but I definitely, definitely want to give it again, I'll give it a go again. So we've got that to try again. And we've got the shot glasses that we want to try again. You know what I think would be really interesting with the egg carton yeah. is doing it dirty pouring it from up high, like three different colors in each of the cartons. That way, whenever you go to pour it, mm -hmm. it kind of has a little bit more depth to the colors mixing. Mm. I think that would create, I, th I think that might be too muddy, but we'd have to give it a go. Have to give it a Listen, go. Listen, the whole point of us being in the studio is to like try these things out. Yes. I can promise you we're never always, always going to produce amazing pieces of art because that's not really the plan here. The plan is a journey for us. I think all of our art is amazing. <laughs> I don't. Certainly the stuff that I'm doing, <laughs> some of it is real clangers. But you know, it is what it is. Yes. Why don't we take them in for a close-up of the dried results? Yes. So that they can see they, for themselves. Absolutely. Have a look at these. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the finished product of Lee's egg carton pick painting. Yes. It yes. is. So, um, as you just saw, I used the egg carton with um, three front colors, three back colors, and kind of alternated between the two. I'm going to call this pinwheel because it kind of, to me, looks like a spinning pinwheel. Hmm. Um, but I've definitely got like the all the colors that I added to the paint. I've got ten like lines of the wandering ring pour. A wandering ring pour with two colors, as you can see, doesn't give you an awful lot of variance between the two rings, you know, like the rings of the two colors. Um, you know, adding more colors would have definitely have given me a different pattern. I could have done a straight pour on this one and just gone straight up and down the canvas. But I like it, it was an experiment. I wanted to try something different. I like the kind of the almost, you know, straight lined, logic, geometric nature of this one. So I don't hate it. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with this picture and the outcome. I think it looks great. I love it. 
Okay, and this is Jeremy's leaky cup. Jeremy, talk us through it. All right. It was really interesting because whenever I put the leaky cup on there, which was a cup with the holes all at the bottom, um, it really just uh, it made this whole flower effect <laughs> that um, it's almost like a reverse dip that Fiona does. I know that Fiona not. does, yeah. but not yeah. It's really so interesting, and the colors just came out. I think really beautiful with the golds and the the teal and the it was turquoise. Yeah, the turquoise deep. Turquoise mm. deep, yeah. And um, the paint's gray really shows through it, adds some depth to it. Um, and the gold, it's really funny, but I just put like a little bit of that gold and it just bammed all through this. Um, I, I really love it. I think it's really different. Super interesting. Super interesting. I would definitely and use that leaky cup again. I will. I yeah. will use that leaky cup again, absolutely. Um, and maybe this time I'll spin it slowly. Instead of leaving it just go straight out, maybe I'll just slowly spin it and see what happens that with too. that. There you go. Another, another experiment to try little. for another day. Yes. Thanks, guys. So please leave us a comment. Let us know what you think too. Yeah. Um, we always are open to like ideas and suggestions. So oh, please, please. Yeah. let us know your thoughts. Yes. Um, episode 22 is another fun episode for us. It's going to be... Lord of the Rings. We're not going to tell you too much about it. You'll come back and you'll find out more. But it is two yes. pours that we've done before using beautiful colours that we know you're going to adore. Back to hopefully producing a really yes. beautiful piece of art. Absolutely. No more experimenting on this next one. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Back to back normal to, programming. Back to the basics. Thank you everyone that's liked and subscribed. Thank you to everyone that's asked for a pin. We know now that some of you have started to receive them because people are putting in the I comments. I know, it's so awesome. Which is really cool. Um, and um, yeah, please come back and join us on our very next episode of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. Thanks guys, have a good Bye. week. Bye.